Hello, my name's Phil Dolman and I'd like to introduce you to my Patreon channel. I use Patreon to create ukulele lessons. They fall into lots of different themes such as just three chords, jug band jam, sing the blues, getting jazzy and a little bit country plus theory alert where I talk about music theory and technique tips where I break down classic ukulele techniques. As well as being colour coded by theme these lessons are all searchable. So you can search for the key of a song if you want to practice playing in a particular key. Or, and this is a really important one, you can search by the level. I've marked every lesson as level one, two, three, or four. So if you're a beginning player, you can just search for level one and you'll find lessons across all of the different styles that I teach at a level appropriate for you. And if you're looking for more of a challenge, you can try level two, level three, level four, and you'll move from songs using fairly simple chords in simple keys right through to full finger style arrangements that are really quite challenging. With all of these lessons, the thing that I don't do is just give you the chords and say, play along with me. We're going to much more detail. I'll talk about why the chords in this song work together. Could we play this song in a different key? Is it like another song that we've learned? Does it do a thing that we did in another song? Or could we use something from another song to make this song a bit different? It's all about helping you develop as a player so that you can become the player that you'd like to become. If you want to be able to jam, this will help you do it. If you want to be able to write songs, this will give you great pointers on how to write songs. If you simply want to be able to play music in a style that you love, it'll give you a huge repertoire of songs and the skills to work out more songs that I'm not teaching you, but work like the songs I have taught you. I post a new lesson every Wednesday, every single week. That's a video lesson with accompanying notes for you to download. Becoming a patron is really easy. You just go to the link and click on the button. If you're in the US, it costs $10 a month. If you use the Euro, then it's nine euros a month. And if you're in the UK, it's seven pounds 50 a month. Now you won't find any of the lessons from my Patreon site anywhere else. They're not on my YouTube channel. They are just for my patrons. And you can get in touch with me through Patreon, through comments and messages, and you can suggest things that you might like to cover or ask questions about the lessons and I can get straight back to you through there. Now I'm gonna show you one complete lesson from the page, just so you can see how it works. And below, I'll put a link so that you can also download the chart to go with it and see what that looks like, so you can try it out for yourself. We've got a great little community going over there, so I really hope you'll join it and become a patron. Thanks very much, and I hope to see you over there soon. Bye. Some people say a man is made out of mud A poor man's made out of muscle and blood Muscle and blood and skin and bones A mind that's weak and a back that's strong You load 16 tons What do you get? Another day older and deeper in debt St. Peter don't you call me now cause I can't go I owe my soul to the company store I was born one morning when the sun didn't shine Picked up my shovel and I walked to the mine I loaded 16 tons of number 9 coal And the straw boss said, well bless my soul You loaded 16 tons, what do you get? Another day older and deeper in debt St. Peter don't you call me now, I can't go I owe my soul to the company store I was born one morning, it was drizzling rain 
fighting and trouble of my middle name. I was raised in the cane break by an old mama lion. Can't no high-toned woman make me walk the line. You load 16 tons, and what do you get? Another day older and deeper in debt. Saint Peter, don't you call me now, cause I can't go. I owe my soul to the company store. If you see me coming better, step aside. A lot of men didn't, a lot of men died. I got one fist of iron, the other of steel. If the right one don't get you, then the left one will. You load 16 tons, and what do you get? Another day older and deeper in debt. St. Peter, don't you call me now, cause I can't go. I owe my soul to the company store. Sixteen Tons by the great Merle Travis. This was recorded actually fairly recently. This was 1947 and it was when Merle Travis was asked to record a, an album of songs that sounded folky because of the beginning of the folk revival. Um, but it didn't really become a big hit until Tennessee Ernie Ford got his hands on it and he turned it into a huge hit and then of course Merle Travis was able to take that song back out again as his big hit. It's an interesting little song, this one, and it might seem like I've put it in a tricky key, but of course I had to choose that key in order to make that little riff work, and that's often the case, that the key isn't the easiest key you could play it in, but on a uke with a high G, you're pretty limited when it comes to doing the part. It also features something called an Andalusian cadence, the Andalusian cadence, which is this descending line, G goes down to F goes down to E flat goes down to D. So if you were hearing this um, played, you know, if a bass part was being played, you'd hear this. Now you may have heard this in another song. Hit the road, Jack, and don't you come back no more, no more, no more, no more. Yeah, it's that same pattern and it's in Stray Cats, Strut by the Stray Cats. It's loads and loads of other songs as well. Very, very popular. And historically, it goes back many, many hundreds of years into classical music. G minor might not seem like the, the first choice of key for a song like this, but it actually fits nicely under your fingers. So you get G minor to F, which is a nice change. Back to E flat. If you play the E flat down here, it's just like your G minor, but with your second finger one fret higher. And then D, well I was going for the a barred D, but you could equally as well play 2, 2, 2, 0 for that D and that would work fine. We do that for two lines. Some people say a man is made out of mud. A poor man's made out of muscle and blood. Then when we get to the third line, it's just G minor and a new chord, C minor. One finger chord. Muscle and blood and skin and bone and then we just stop on the G minor. A mind that's weak and a back that's strong you load 16 tons. Guess what? The chorus is exactly the same. The day older and deeper in death. St. Peter don't you call me a C minor. I can't go back to G minor and stop. I owe my soul to the company store. Every verse is the same. But after every chorus, something different happens, and that's this. I owe my soul to the company store. It's a really effective performance technique, so you can leave that as long as you want, just carrying the song on the click of the fingers. It will really draw the audience in. There's one more chord, which is that one which is just the same as your G minor that we started on, but we take off that ring finger and it turns into a G minor six. And it's just a really nice sounding tense chord to add at that point. We leave that hanging. So all we need to do now is learn that riff. We go right up to the 10th fret. 
Now, most dukes have a dot at the 10th fret, which is very, very handy. And you play the first string, the second string, and the third string. So you can actually hold all three of those strings down if you like. I tend to do it with my second finger because high up the neck it's quite hard to get my index finger in. My second finger is just barring the first, second and third strings and I just play with my thumb. First string, second string, third string. And then I go down on my third string to the seventh fret with my index finger. So I get that. And then right down to here and we play the second fret of the C string twice. And then I just flatten my finger down so it covers the second string at the second fret. And then I put my second finger down on the third fret of that same string. So the whole thing is... And then... Ba, ba, ba. And then you're back into the next verse. That'll take a little bit of practice. Don't be afraid of leaving all that space. It works so much better having those dynamics. Otherwise the song just becomes very, very monotonous. It's that same descending line a lot of the way through the song. This breaks it up beautifully. It also gives you time to breathe and to think about what the next verse is going to be about. And many of these verses start before that G minor chord. So while you're clicking your fingers waiting to come in on the next bit, you might do, say, the second and the third verses start with I was, and then born is where you'd hear the G minor. I was born. So you've got to go. I was born one morning when the sun didn't shine. And on the last one, if you see me coming, it's if you. So. If you see me coming. So you've got to be aware that you've got to start singing before you've started playing. I mean, this one is really the definition of a, of a classic um, song of the day. I mean, yes, it's Mel Travis. Yes, it's a country song, but it's also it was just a great hit record of the day. This was the stuff that you would see on, you know, Saturday night, Friday night TV back in the day. Um, and it was a huge, huge hit for him and for Tennessee Ernie Ford. I hope you've enjoyed this song, and I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.